Wait, are you serious? You ready to see? Because I had on like a dress and then I changed because they said you're going to be late, you had to work. Oh my yeah. god. I have to make a decision because I just got a package that arrived, but the sun is going down, so I don't know if I can make the video in time if I go grab the package. Okay, I'm gonna get the package. I'll be right back. We'll open it at the end of this video together. How's that? I uh, forgot to turn the mic on, so whatever. I got the package. All right, what's, uh, what's up, YouTube? What's the rub? What's going on? Okay, so real quick, an Hermes red Birkin bag used goes for $18,000. I know that says $19,500. I don't know why I said 18, but hey, what can you do, you know? <laughs> Just a classic mistake. I actually read that a new bag from Hermes, a Birkin bag, can go from $12,000 to $200,000. So anyways, besides that, what makes a Birkin special is that it's handmade, it has premium leather, it's very exclusive, and it's cool materials like palladium or Nile crocodile and stuff like that, which, not for nothing, are all characteristics of this bag. Handmade, one of one, custom designed, very cool materials. It's actually the same leather that was used in vintage Hermes bags, and it's cool. Also, side note, this is a parallel video that has to do with Valentine's Day. Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm going to go get Taylor some flowers, and then I'm going to try and steal her purse. Love is in the air, or it was in the air. Now it is dead. On to the main point of this video, this bag. You may also be wondering, what these fasteners are, I will talk about those at the end of the video. It is not sponsored, this is not an ad. I just think they're cool, so. So like I said, Hermes Birkin bags can range from basically $12,000 to $200,000. This bag did not cost that much at all. I would love to tell you how much it cost, but one, this was a gift to Taylor, so I don't want her to find out. And two, the leather craftsman that I worked with actually requested that I don't reveal the price on this video. So I can't. This bag is also like two or three years old. So it was before I had a YouTube channel. I actually found this guy on Reddit. He's really cool. Made an incredible bag. His name is M Milan Leathers. This is his Instagram. There was a little drama though when this bag was getting made, which I will also talk about towards the end. Oh no, everybody's got flowers in their bags. I don't know if there's gonna be any left. Go to Acme. Oh my god, everybody has flowers. M Milan Leathers, the guy that I was talking about, his name is Michael. My name is also Michael, so I will refer to him as Leather Michael, and I will refer to me as YouTube Michael. So him and I were talking, basically, and we were looking at a bunch of different leathers. I was gonna do that bright orange or maize color that they use a lot, but we decided not to, and we went with Minerva box leather, which is what Hermes used to use on their old Birkin bag. So, pretty cool, made out of the same material. The outside is red, as you can see, and the inside is gray, as you can see. I have to be really quiet, because it's 12.18, and everybody in my apartment's sleeping, but I forgot to ask, do you mind subscribing, liking this video, commenting, and following me on Instagram? That would be really nice. You could see where Taylor was holding the bag in certain areas. The red color is actually darkening to more of like a, like a deep ruby with patina. It's gonna get cooler and cooler and hopefully eventually if she uses it enough and takes it with her everywhere she goes, it's gonna have all these cool scuffs and the entire bag should darken kind of to the handle color a little bit darker to this like really deep red wine color, which YouTube Michael and Leather Michael and I, we basically decided that we were gonna go all out in terms of overbuilding this and getting a really great leather and getting really nice stitching, or, well, it's polyester thread, just using polyester thread and not cotton thread because cotton thread breaks down faster. So the whole goal for this bag is basically Taylor is walking around in her 20s with an heirloom piece that hopefully when she's like 106, she still has it in her little walker. She has this giant red bag she's walking around with. The trick to getting Taylor flowers, if you're planning on getting her flowers anytime soon, is don't pick anything based off the flowers. See, these flowers are dead. What you need to do is pick things based off the vase. Taylor doesn't care about the flowers at all. Those are just a midnight snack to her. What she's in it for is the vase. Anything small and glass, that's the money. That's what you want to do. I don't have my black shoes. I don't have a pair of black shoes. So what I'm doing is instead of having something that matches subtly and blends well, I'm just going to go, I think, with bright orange Converse. I also have these, but maybe I'll wear these. Oh, I do have black shoes. I did bring them. Oh, but the, like a little elf. I'm like, oh, but the... 
This one's not good. Incredible shoes I haven't talked about yet. Oh, I know. Okay, I have to wait. These are the loafies. There's no specific name to them. I got them from Savers, actually, for $2, I think. Nothing crazy. They're a little too big on me. I need to get, like, a really nice pair of loafers, but for now, these are great. They're also Taylor's favorite shoes of mine, and they're all bent because I put them in this box like an idiot. Actually, on second thought, I'm thinking I'm gonna go the full suit. I can't figure out a way to hide on this video how messy my room is. Just know it's just because I threw everything out of my closet because I was late to go to see Taylor. Okay, so the suit is very wrinkly. My outfit in general is pretty mediocre, but I think it'll be funny. Taylor and I have been super stressed with work and a bunch of other stuff, so boom, now I look like a Wall Street guy that forgot to get his wife flowers. I don't really think this is possible, but I'm gonna try and see if I can hold everything. Here we go. Okay, so then Leather Michael reached out to YouTube Michael and said, hey, I have a gold foil press. Do you want anything on the front of the bag, like any words? Yes, are you kidding me? I ended up writing two little things, as you can see. If you speak French, you know what it says. If you're on the internet, you can just type in to see what it says. On the low, it's kind of a very personal thing that Taylor and I were talking about. I don't think I could have said anything that would encourage you to look up what it means more. Anyways, if you're looking at the bag, pretty simply as it is, it looks like a tote bag with an accordion side. It's all soft leather. When you look on the inside, there is a laptop pocket. It was specifically going to be made for a MacBook Air, but then I was talking to Leather Michael and I was like, but what if she gets a bigger laptop? And he was like, I guess we'll make the bag bigger. So we made that compartment able to fit a 15 inch laptop, I think. I also didn't take measurements, so we're gonna use Taylor to scale that's how big the bag is. On the flip side, there's a little hanging leather pouch that you can use for notes, pens, your phone, whatever you wanna put in there. Oh, real quick, that gold bird that you see, that's Leather Michael's logo. And that's basically it. It's obviously a pretty simple bag, but on the bottom, there are feet, so that way if she puts the bag on the ground, it doesn't scuff as easily. She can put it down and not be as worried. Okay, so finally, these things are called locks. When I was talking to Leather Michael at the time, I don't think they were as widely used because he was like, I just found out about these things. I really want to try them. Can we put them on the bag? And I was like, yeah, Leather Michael, go for it. There are these things called locks, which were originally on like picture a car convertible, all those little snaps in the back that you pull up. Those were there. They were on canvas parts for boats that you would pull over. And they're really cool. It's basically this like locking mechanism that closes around this like ball thing and locks and only unlocks if you pop the top. So. I don't know, I think those are cool. Maybe not that exciting, but still. Anyways, the drama about this bag was that um, I was talking to Leather Michael and he was like, bag's almost done, like send me the full payment. So I sent him the full payment and then he was like, hey, a uh, horrible thing just happened. I spilled ink all over the bag. And I basically was like, Leather Michael, after all we've been through, did you just steal from me? And he was like, no, 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 I promise, I promise, like ink I had for something spilled all over the bag. And I was like, okay, can you send me a picture? And he was like, no, I can't send you a picture. At that point, I was like, well, I guess I need the money back. And he was like, oh, no, 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 I'm remaking it. I'm taking away all the parts that are covered in ink and remaking it and stuff like this. And then literally in like two days, because I had to give it to Taylor for a present, I think it was for Christmas, he had it done and sent it out like next day air and it was incredible. The bag is so nice, Taylor loves it, we all love it. We put things inside it, well usually she puts things inside of it, carries it somewhere else, then puts it down, takes the things out, it's great, it does everything a bag should do. I don't want Taylor to see that I'm in a suit because that kind of ruins the fun, but when you have to ring in to get into her apartment, a light and a camera turns on so she'll see me, so I'm gonna turn my back when I push the button. <laughs> you got a little romantic time to yourself. Well, no, I ate it in front of the TV right there because I, I 
Every time I walk by a trash can in New York, I think someone's in there because of the rats. I'm not used to hearing that. All right. Thank you for doing that, by the way. I even turned up the heat. Anyways, though, on to more important things like material goods. Here we go. Oh, there's a note. Should I... Thanks for your purchase. We look forward to doing business with you again on eBay. Thank Ed. This video isn't coming out next week. It's coming out the week after that, but... Okay. Here we go. This is a 1940-something World War II Pico. And the only Pico you should ever consider buying. So check that out in two weeks.